I've not made soap with hydrogen peroxide before. I don't want to waste my battery. Let me just put a small amount here. Okay. Add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and see how it will react. You see the soap that I added hydrogen peroxide to? You are seeing what's happening. Mm? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? You can see. So I'm definitely not pouring hydrogen peroxide inside this soap. If I pour in my normal hydrogen peroxide, this is what happen. Okay? So I'll keep it for some minutes to see if it will go down. If it doesn't go down, I'm not putting it in. So meanwhile this is still rising. You can see, see, it's not coming down. It's not coming down. Let's just wait and see whether at the end of the video to come down. You can see our soap with hydrogen peroxide is still rising up and it's warm. The soap is very hot. See it? I'll keep this overnight and see what happens. But I'm not going to make a large batch with this. I don't want to waste my materials. So I'll see what happens. If it works, fine. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know. So I'm going to put color into the two of them to differentiate. You can see, still see our soap with hydrogen peroxide. It's still rising. See? It's still rising. Meanwhile, this is our hydrogen peroxide. It's still rising up. So from this inference, I can say, in conclusion, I can say, from the findings of this experiment, hydrogen peroxide in cold processed soap is a no-no. You can make your soap, shred it, then put your hydrogen peroxide in. But in cold processed soap, no, no. I also tried it in liquid soap. I can show you. This also happened in liquid soap. Plenty liquid soap myself. It's also a no, no. So, don't try to make cold process over at hydrogen peroxide. Okay? Thanks for watching my video. So before I forget, this is the outcome of our hydrogen peroxide soup. See, it turned into this hard, flaky mess. See, see, this is what it turned into. So definitely putting hydrogen peroxide to cold process soup is a no. It won't work. So from this you understand why when you're making your detergent, that is your OMO, when you add your hydrogen peroxide to it, it becomes very hot. It forms over and then it makes, turns your OMO into pellets, okay? So this is similar to what is happening to this soap. It's just like making your laundry detergent, okay? That's what hydrogen peroxide does.